I'm Martha Josie, and I'm with Ty Mitchell, and you know the fit of a bit is so important, right Ty? It is, just from the putting it on a head stall to getting it on your horse, and uh, once again when you get a bit, understanding how the head stall hooks up to the bit is important. On this short shank copper dog gag, it's got a high cheek piece, and it has a, a flare right here, a cheek relief. And this is the end the, where the curb chain is. This is where you want your head stall uh, to hook on. And uh, like Martha's always said, make sure you have on a high purchase bit, make sure you have a head stall uh, that has a short cheek piece. Uh, not all head stalls will fit all bits on different horses. So having, being able to properly adjust this is very important to the success of the bit. And what I'm looking for is I want this bit to at least be flush with the mouth to one to two wrinkles, kind of depending on your horse. Um, and I want the curb chain, I want to be able to get a, a finger or two, a couple of fingers between the chin and the chain. And that way I have a little bit of movement here. So when I put pressure on this, I want the bit to be able to slide moderately up. But when you're, if this is a, on the gag bit, if your bit is just floating and going to the top, voluntarily without any rain pressure it's too low in the mouth so you want to make sure you have it picked up so when you make that initial contact it doesn't just jump to the top otherwise you lose the effectiveness and you don't have the bend and lift horse will tend to drop his head and be a little more bracy and then on your curb chain kind of depends on what you're needing a good rule of thumb is a couple of fingers between the chin and the chain uh, if i need a little more woe then i can tighten the the curb up if I need a little more bend then I may let the curb out one so it kind of depends on your horse how light he is and what you're trying to achieve uh, with the bit and also remember everything that fastens on your horse should fasten on the left side so the curb should definitely be adjusted on the this side on your left side 